have a guess what the average salary in South Africa is? I want to still stick with like 25. I feel like I, tw- I say 25 every year. 25, okay. I feel like it's less. Okay. Th- give me a number. 13. 13. Yeah. 13,000. Yes. average salary in South Africa can be tricky to pin down. On average, folks make around 21,455 rand per month. But that's just the middle ground. Big cities like Johannesburg and Cape Town, higher salaries but higher costs of living too. Smaller towns, lower salaries but lower expenses. Education, experience, and occupation all play a role. South Africa's history including apartheid, has left economic disparities. The gap between the rich and the poor is significant. Think of it like this. Fancy restaurants in Sandton versus local spots in Soweto. The average salary reflects this diversity. It's a mix of high earners and those just scraping by. So, when you're trying to make sense of salaries in South Africa, keep it real. Consider the context, history and lived experiences of everyday South Africans. It's a country of contrasts, and understanding those contrasts is key. Let's break down what affects how much money people make in South Africa. First up, education. A degree can open doors to higher paying jobs. Think doctors, lawyers, engineers. Those folks with years of studying. Then there's experience. It's not just about what you know, but what you've done. A seasoned chef with years of experience will command a higher salary than a newbie. The industry you're in plays a massive role. Finance, tech, mining. These sectors tend to offer the big bucks. On the flip side, sectors like education and social work often come with lower salaries. And let's not forget about location. Big cities attract top talent and often come with higher salaries. But remember, those higher salaries often come with a higher cost of living. It's a trade-off. Let's talk about the backbone of the South African workforce. In 2019, South Africa introduced a national minimum wage. The goal? To ensure everyone earns a basic living wage. As of today, the minimum wage is 25 rand and 42 cents per hour. It's still not enough for many families, especially in big cities, but it's a start. The minimum wage is meant to protect the most vulnerable workers. It's a work in progress, but there's a framework in place to strive for fairness. Let's talk about the gender wage gap. Women are still earning less than men for the same work. It's a global issue, but it's particularly stark in South Africa. One factor is occupational segregation. Women are often in lower paying sectors like education and healthcare. These jobs are vital, but often undervalued and underpaid. Then there's unconscious bias where women are overlooked for promotions or paid less. Closing the gender wage gap isn't just about fairness. It's about economic empowerment. When women earn more, they invest it back into their families and communities. It's about time we level the playing field. How does South Africa stack up against other countries in terms of salaries? Compared to developed nations, South African salaries are generally lower. That's the reality of being a developing economy. But cost of living is a major factor. You can get more bang for your buck in Durban than in London. When you compare South Africa to other African countries, the picture changes. South Africa often comes out on top in terms of average salaries. We're seen as a regional economic powerhouse. Average salaries only tell part of the story. We need to look at the bigger picture income inequality, access to education and healthcare, and overall, quality of life.